Hi, I'm Karen, and as promised, we're going to open up the kiln today. My kiln fired off yesterday morning at about 6 o'clock in the morning, and it's been cooling for about 24 hours now. So let's go see if it's cool enough to open up. It looks like it is 119 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, opening and seeing what we have on the first layer. And it's like Christmas every time I open this up. I really don't know what I'm going to get sometimes. The first couple of pieces were almost experimental. I was um, trying out some new glazes just to see what would happen. Melted some glass on these. And it looks like the first of a student project. Along with uh, some strawberry bowls, a new design with strawberry bowls. Up oh, here's another experiment. Hey, this one turned out pretty nice. This is another nice one. Let's see a close up. Now on to the second layer. And in this layer, another new design, some lemons, get close up, lemons, more, not too bad. As you see, I don't just fire the kiln for one piece, one or two pieces, if I have an order or a special order for something, I need to fill the whole kiln. And it usually takes me a week and a half or so to fill the kiln with just glaze work. Okay, here's some more of my students' work. This is mine, another experimental piece. And my students, I have uh, six, seventh, and eighth graders at the Carbondale New School. And this is their project, part of their project for, this is their project for uh, textures and making a small tray. Okay, it looks like we have two more layers to go. like uh, the pet dishes I've been doing. I've been actually making wider bowls uh, with a, a wider base so uh, the cat won't uh, tip over the bowl. And I got some more lemons and some foxes. Okay, this is my last layer I'm going to open up, and our mugs should be down here. Mugs, lots of mugs. And here's one of the honey badgers. Snaggletooth. And the bee. There's another. Turned out pretty decent. And then here's some examples of some of the other mugs that uh, I had put in the kiln earlier. Yellow sunflowers, foxes, and two of my different types of cats. And here's a view of the honey badger mug in the round, very dangerously using my wheel to show the whole piece. 
Well, we've got some really nice objects from the kiln this time. I really like the color of this uh, yellow sunflower piece. It turned out really vivid. And for a first experimental try of making a honey badger, I think I did a fine job on this one as well. Uh, people are really digging the foxes, I've found out lately. So that turned out nice. I like that. And I really, I'm really pleased with the new designs of the um, lemon. the strawberry. I thought that would be very nice for spring. So that's it for today and I'm glad you joined me. Thanks for coming by and we'll have another video possibly of throwing and trimming at a later date.